Hello and welcome back to this Unity tutorial. My name is Björn and today I will show you how to create and use reusable game objects called prefabs. First, I create a normal game object. To keep it simple, I just have these sprite dots. So drag and drop your sprite to the scene view. Now you see your objects in the hierarchy as well as in the scene and camera view. If I want more dots, I mark the object in the hierarchy and simply press Ctrl D. This gives us six individual game objects. To show you what happened to these objects, I split them a little bit here. I go to the start object and scale it down to 0.5. You can see nothing happens to the other objects. So let's try to make some other changes. I want the dots to move around in the scene. So I attach this little script I made to the first object. What you see in play mode now the changes just affect the first object. The other dots just standing still don't care about my changes. To finally create a prefab, we must get rid of these unused objects. After that, we have to create a folder named prefabs. In this folder, I can drag the game object from the hierarchy. The object in the hierarchy turns blue to show us that it is now a prefab. In the inspector on the right, I can open the prefab to edit it. But let's just stay in the scene view. I can drag and drop the new prefab to the scene and create copies. Now I can edit the prefab. When I change the sprite of the prefab from green to red, it directly affects all objects in the view. In play mode, all objects are now red and they are moving around. But we still have these objects in our hierarchy and it can be a bit annoying when you always have to copy them. So I'll delete them again, create a new empty game object and call this dot manager. To this object I attach a prepared dot manager script. As you can see, this script has two input variables one called dot and one called amount. I can drag our created prefab to the variable dot. For the amount I will start with 5. When we enter the play mode now, we see that our manager creates 5 moving dots for us. This manager is just a simple script. It takes the game objects or prefabs and instantiates it the amount of times. With all this, we can have some fun now. As you can see, I added a little panda to the scene. To interact with the panda, our prefabs need a box collider. After adding, you see all objects can hit the panda now. And it doesn't matter if there are 5 or 20 dots. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, show us. If you don't, tell somebody you don't like. You may subscribe for more.